Four, three, two, one. Talk to us about Drake's new brand. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Like, Nocta. Like, I was going to even ask Fresh as well, because maybe Fresh knows more about it. So, like, Drake, Drake very Drake. mysterious. I see. Like, very three, oh. Yeah, three stars, like, like shooting stars. Like, what is it really about? Is it going to be a shoe? Is it going to be, like, just a, an extension to Nike's? Like, I don't know. I, just, I want to know what it is, to be fair, because I like the logo for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be yeah. to Nike, man. I don't, I don't see why. Even with the whole Nike thing, like, I feel like Drake has a lifetime deal with Nike. Yeah, no, for it really, let's take that billion dollar P. Mm-hmm. I think it was a billion. It's not that, it's not that Michael Jordan deal for sure. Like, like Cristiano Ronaldo too, Ronaldo too. Life, once it's lifetime, that means that. Who has been Nike, Nike the whole time? Yeah, no. Goddamn. Since day one. <laughs> <laughs> Beckham and Adidas has to be lifetime. Beckham yeah. will never walk anything else. <laughs> Messi lifetime. Bruh. Um, so basically, but also, go 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 yeah go. Carry on, carry on. Now, just so funny how like, but these guys are like coming up with new ways to make more bar. Yeah. So for example, like yeah, your shoes, like for example, like Ronaldo, they saw him like rocking Nike shoes, like football boots. But his socks were added as. See what I'm trying to say? It's like, but you didn't pay me to wear Nike socks. See what I'm trying to say? Hmm. You gotta pay me to wear Nike. I wear any socks. It's crazy, guy. Yeah. Or like LeBron would wear like a sweatband that's like Puma. Like you didn't pay me to wear. You know what I'm saying? And it's true. You gotta milk every single like avenue. It's crazy. But that's yeah, wild. Dude. So can we say that Drake? Can we say that Drake is officially signed to Nike Records? Yeah, man. I was right back. That's yeah. Nike. For yeah. sure. For sure. I work an hour over as my guy. Like, because the guy rocking it. That's the new P, man. Like, my Bro, own side. Smack on, smack on rocking Nike. Yeah. It's not, he's not just wearing Nike. Like, he's shooting videos in like the biggest Nike stores that no one has. I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting, he's getting professional athletes on Nike stadiums wearing Nike. Like, yeah, it's a huge advert. Like, you don't want to pay him for that. Mm. It's more than that guy. Is, no, it's not normal, guy. <laughs> it's good, guys, different, different. Oh. That's crazy. I think Drake's untouchable. He's the most powerful guy in the industry right now. And it's been I'm like saying. that for a while. Let's say some. Nobody's untouchable. Look at Michael Jackson. <laughs> Drake, mm. Drake, nah. Drake, Drake is untouchable. Drake. Let's Nobody's untouchable. Have, have you seen that video of MJ the ten times? No phone, no nothing. Thousands just out there. Yeah, just there. The MJ had more fans and all that for sure. MJ was a bigger actor by far. Was made about this guy. But you think with MJ, yeah. But I guess back then things were different. But all we knew about him in the music business or a business. What other businesses did Michael um, Jackson have? This guy owned fifty percent of Sony. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah, the only did. thing. Yeah, that was the only thing, and that's fire. That was the only thing. That's the that's the cold. That was the most gangster move of all time. Don't get it twisted. Of course it is. He even, guy, yeah, there's this interview I watched of Dark Child, who's like one of the biggest producers back then. He yeah. was on Vlad recently. And I was saying how MJ actually wanted to buy his publishing. So <laughs> MJ was approaching different guys that he was working with, trying to own their publishing. Really? He was that type of artist, for sure, 100%. Now, cool, Drake may not be doing that on the music business level. But as far as, guy, yeah, Drake is powerful, though. This guy, you haven't made your, you make your point. You make your point. You said, but as far as, ah, Drake is I get that realization. Like, if you look Bro, at only, the only, of- someone's, only someone's pop doesn't really make you powerful like that. Because someone like The Dream, let's even just say he owned like five artists publishing. You won't look at him like he's powerful. No, but the amount mm-hmm. of money Michael generated pre death, post death. Yeah, he made a lot of money. Cool. Post death. Drake ain't making money like him post death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Met around the ne- Netherlands, or what is it called? Okay, so, Neverland. <laughs> is Drake the most powerful artist alive right now? Yeah, would you say so? Nah, it's gotta be Kanye. Kanye. 
If you're talking like powerful, so Kanye is rich and made a lot of money outside music. Kanye might be a liability to himself, but he's, he's, he's just as powerful. Because Kanye is tension by Drake. <laughs> yeah, but that's because Drake is playing clean cut and yeah. Drake can have every button pushed at any time. Kanye yeah. is literally going to say, I'm going to do shit my way. Yeah. And I'm going to still get it done. And I'm going to still be a liability to myself. Yeah. So he's making it harder for himself. Yeah. Do you know what? You know, Bida uh, from Rap Radar, he said that if Drake goes independent, it's going to affect the whole music industry. He's in independent now. He's not. I think he has a few more albums left. So why were they announcing that he's independent? <laughs> so as of last year, he was. This maybe this maybe his last album on the do actually. Mm. Cash money. As of last year, he was independent. Yeah. If Drake is in, yeah. Imagine controlling your publishing and your distribution yourself. As Drake. I, I feel like what you were trying to say in terms of why Drake is powerful is when that Drake push button starts like there's nothing you can stop you can, nothing can stop it right. I still don't want to come out the same day as Drake that's what I'm saying even even a Travis Scott would not want to come out the same day as Drake for sure okay. Travis never close to Drake exactly. even, a, even a Kendrick a Rocky even Kendrick's even, Ka- even okay. Kanye it's the kind of thing man yeah, Drake, Drake that's is toughy. Drake is that's what I, I think that's what he was trying to say in terms of that like the, the amount of like I don't know that push like when you push that button that that steam house with it's just too much guys way yeah. too much it's too much man yeah guys are just begging for Drake to fall off in fact it would be better if Drake falls off I'm not so begging guys can free the guy I'm not begging for Drake to fall off one, one thing I am definitely sure of is Drake may sign out of this game without actually giving us a classic project that could happen. That could definitely happen. Even though people can say Take Care, even though it's written mostly by The Weeknd, is a classic. Yeah. The Weeknd, we could tell his influence. Even when Majid Jordan hopped into the, the whole circle or whatever, I knew when Drake was just absorbing all those Majid Jordan sounds. Once it's too done. much. That's what I'm saying. Too much. That's oh, yeah. not Majid Jordan's career, because I actually love them. Yeah. But now, too I much. Think from that era. Do you know what I mean? But... Take care, I love to take care. I actually think that's my favorite Drake album. But other than that, bro, I can't lie to you, man. I feel like Drake can actually just there's no there's no for me, there's never any anticipation towards any Drake project. I just know that I'm gonna pick my four tracks. Yeah. This one where he's rapping on the intro. This one where it's called 4 a.m. and something. Pick this single and pick my two, three, four, and I'm out. But you know why I feel like this time, like because I feel like the last few albums, like Views, um, Nothing Was the Same, like he didn't really zone in on the idea that I can actually leave this game without dropping a classic. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think those times he was just still dropping because he not just he had to drop, but he had to keep his name out there. And also he, he was in his zone, like swaggy zone, I can do whatever I want. But I feel like this time he's in that bag of I actually need to deliver something that is it's worth its its weight in gold for sure. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So what happens when he lets you down? Because we're going to come back to this because you are talking about yeah yeah but you're sounding like it's more of like an 80, 20 percent that he lets me down. Yeah. I feel like it's a 50, 50 percent. Oh, no. okay, okay, so let's wait up. Let's wait up. Fresh, I remember yeah. fresh, I remember you were a so far gone type of guy. You were yeah. so far. So that's it. Next step, we can all agree so far. Gone flames, fire. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, game. thank me later. I really loved because it was the introduction to the game. Mm-hmm. We, can, we can all admit that that's a, that's a good debut, right? Yeah, for sure. Good debut tune with Alicia Keys, tune with Swiss Beats, great, right? Boom, take care. We can all agree that crazy follow up album, right? Yeah, yeah. I could be considered a classic, even if people think the weekend wrote it. Yeah. My classic for Drake, you know what I'm saying? True with Rihanna. I was I was going through the motions at that time in my life. Neither the album, okay? Boom. I nothing was the same. Hmm. Can we say that that's a great album? Okay. No, you can't. Yeah. Exactly. You can't. Okay, so let's move past that. Views. Are we saying Views was a great album? 
But the thing is that he never called views an album. That's the problem. Okay. So let's for what for for what it's called soundtrack. Yeah. Views a great content. If you take it's right, like, it's not a great reason why. Yeah. The reason why Views is still memorable was because of that 2016 summer when Controller dropped was a rap. Yeah. If they didn't have Controller, and I think Work was even also on that album, those two songs, they didn't come out at that time. They, they, they rap for Drake. Yeah. Because look at the track list. And um, One Dance. Yeah. If one, one, how, how do you have Controller and One Dance on the album? Those two yeah. songs are the album alone. Nothing but that's what he needed to do, though. Nah, and don't forget, but that, no, but don't forget, at, at that time, Drake's fan base has gone to a level where he has to cater to so many different audiences. And that's what we've said so many times. Why not? Why not? Why not disputing that? I'm just going by project by project, which is which is do you know what I mean? Consider as an album, definitely not. Consider as a long playlist or whatever they called it. I think it's not as bad as you think. As a as a long playlist, whatever you want to call it, I just know that. Typical for me <laughs> at this point in time. I know that there are lots of fillers for me. It's like my first is in second listen. I could have done with, without it. Okay, let's keep it moving. After that, Scorpion. Can, can we say Scorpion was a great project? Z. Nah, man, no way. Do you understand? No Scorpion way. had God's Scorpion had God's plan. No, nah, definitely not. Definitely not. That's not so... a great project. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to like heavy projects now. Okay, cool. Now let's look at the joint mixtapes. Um what are the joint mixtapes he had? Is it um what if you're that? in uh, the, the one with um future. future? Are we saying that's a great project? It's not great. I liked it, but it's not great. Not great. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I like that. I got exactly what it is. Yeah. Well, it's not a it's like we, we can we can agree that it's not a solid body of work. No way. Okay. If you're reading the like, too late, what's the, is that a solid body of work? Which one? Is that the one with, is that the one with know yourself and like um mm. if you're reading this it's too late. Uh, that's what I was running, right, yeah. If it, I didn't think that one was that bad though. Is that that's one that Quincy Miller was doing the whole ghostwriting pee on having? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, very again sticky, man. And I'm and I'm hearing the reference track. I ran it through the six with my walls, and it wasn't Drake that said that line. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for, sure, for sure, right? I agree. Well, so I I like one out of or two out of like well, seven. So we're saying, wait, wait. So we're saying if we're reading this, this too late is not a great project. That's 2015. Okay. Oh. What do you guys know about nothing was the same? Nothing was the same. What's the what was the lead single? And nothing was the same. Nothing leather, Wu Tang Forever, Worst Behavior, Hold On, We're Going Home. The land I didn't really like. I, I, to be honest, for me, nothing was the same. It didn't really hit for me. Like I didn't really like Worst Behavior. Like Worst, I didn't really like it like that. To be honest, okay. it was okay. It was okay. Okay, so bias with just... all the projects that we've mentioned, what you mean to tell me is that other than so far gone. Mm-hmm. Thank me later. Yeah. Um. Take care. Mm-hmm. Since take care, which came out in what year? Since take care came out in 2011, you mean to tell me that Drake has not had a solid body of work that we can all agree on? Well, like he's had, but he's had the hits. He's had the hits. David O has hits. Only has two albums. And that, that has succeeded. It's not as far that he has the hits now. No, no, no. Music, music is in that era whereby you can just drop hits now. But what you're saying is, what you were saying to us was, you're saying that you feel like he's in this zone right now. That uh, no, no, I'm not saying that he's in this zone. I feel like he, he he's I'm trying like, to let you know that's a bad run with projects. Okay. If he does, what happens? If he does, he still he's still, still going to have one or two hits, and it's still going to be crazy. <laughs> that's the problem. It's, yeah, a, it's a win-win situation, guy. Well, Bass, Bass is talking like I got Jay Prince on speed. That's how I can tell. <laughs> I think the drink, I think the drink is starting to wear out, man. I think so too. Yeah, I think so. I think at this vision, yeah, 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 I'm, te- I'm telling you for a fact, you don't see that, guy. Yeah, I can see yeah, that. Guy, Drake, Drake is. This was like five years ago. That your still mind song by Young Blue will have been number one for five weeks once Drake jumped on it. 
I played that song and a lot of people still don't know what that song is. Drake will jump. Fair enough. That, that, that's that's a good point. But I, I, I feel like thing. nothing will happen. Nah, chill now. The fact that he hasn't dropped properly. Like, when did that song come out, Young Blue? Yeah, that song came out like sometime last year. And the guy hasn't dropped really. Like he hasn't, he hasn't really dropped in a while. Like all I'm saying is personally. All these kind of guys that are actually go to the game that people like to doubt, they always come back and tell you, chill. That's what I'm saying. Do you feel Drake's album is going to be trash or is it going to be gas? Hmm. I think it's going to be okay. Mm. That's what Fresh said. You got to choose one. Trash or gas? If I talk about that, I'll go with trash. Fresh. Hmm. I think gas if it has mad features. Okay. Because I really oh, Nick, like- what about you? Are you talk? Um, I think it's gonna be mainly trash with maybe one gas. <laughs> one, one. There's gonna be a little bit of gas, but it's gonna be majority trash. I, yeah, think, okay. I think all the gas will come from features. They're saying records, yeah. For example. When you want to understand the science of music, uh, mm-hmm. any, every, in fact, any song and every song is a hit. The question is, okay. how many times are you going to hear? And you know, like, you have a machine behind you. These guys are signed. They plug things into the system. The same way in today's world, somebody coming and saying, I have, like, 50 million streams. I'm, I don't really care about things like that because we know that there are phone farms around. For those who don't know what phone farm is, they're like a thousand phones and they put the same song on repeat. So oh, yeah. that, at that point in time, saying, oh, I have 50 million streams doesn't mean anything because if I bought 50,000 phones, I could do the same thing. No, he's never given us a product that is 100% him. And nine times out of 10, it has to be your debut because there's no yeah, right. But like- so, so what I'm saying is I'm not saying, oh, Drake hasn't achieved a lot. I'm not saying he's not great at what he does, which is pop which is whatever music it makes. But if we're actually saying artistry, when Kanye is yeah. there, L's, making mistakes and Jesus taking yeah. L's, it's this L's from Jesus that he goes to use in life of Pablo, that he goes to use for that Jesus is King album. Yeah. Artistry. Even J.G. Well, can I... So when yeah, I'm talking about Drake as the artist hasn't pushed boundaries though. Forget Patrola, forget he hasn't. And that's he's not trying to. Okay, 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 fair, okay. Now, this, this is what I want to say, yeah. Fair enough. But to me, this is this is so... That's why I like, I like this conversation because this is so comparable to, like, the basketball game. Like, where you have LeBron being compared to guys like MJ, which is then compared to guys like Karim Abdul-Jabbar, ETC. Because Drake is coming in in a different time, guy. He's not going to give you what this guy... Can George just say, he's not going to give you that same... Well, check this out. Isn't Kendrick coming in a different time? I don't know from the same class. Drake, Kendrick, yeah. or Lil' Cole. Yeah, Kendrick, but, but they're, they're, but they're, but they're approaching it differently. Yeah, but Kendrick, you can't, compare, you can't compare Kendrick and Drake in terms of yeah. numbers. You, you can't. Yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick has pushed artists for you more than Drake. I'm not playing numbers. And, and that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying artistry level. What I'm trying to say is, you can't compare like someone's type of past the greatness to someone making you feel some type of way in tier six. Type. Do you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. no way Drake has not affected the game on a grand scale. There's no way you can't say that. Yeah. The point I originally made with the adverts and the advert yeah. song I was thinking about is that yeah, JT's mm-hmm. behind him and for up. I'm loving it. They could have put that on a song. And if McDonald's at that time was like Samsung today or was like Apple today, and they pushed it everywhere. That should be the number one selling whatever of all time. Because growing up in th- that I, summer, that summer fresh, or those summers, we yeah. know what. When you just said find out, you know what it is. My point being is, Drake has that same machinery for any record. Mm. The boy wants to drop, it will get pushed in, whether or not you like the song or not. But is that he still has to deliver something of substantial quality? Yes or I no? Mean, I'm not saying he hasn't. Listen, I didn't say I that. Said, no, but that's what you're saying. You're saying that he hasn't done anything of, oh. like, of the, on a grand scale in the game in the past five. Is Drake more of an artist than 
Let me think. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about artistry. Artistry, you might be right in that. You might be you completely know, right. Look, Kendrick. You, you might be, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that it, it, when it comes to artistry, yes, Drake is not the artistic type where he's going to shoot his own music video and portray something crazy like a Kendrick or well, portray then, something like an ASAP Rocky or a Travis well, Scott. Lauren Hill didn't do that. Exactly. And that's, okay, and that's what I'm trying to say. Exactly. But exactly. You're comparing Drake in a time where he had to, what he had to do was literally come in, in kill his features. What, what do you mean? In his own time. There are guys that guy, with him. Complete no, because like this is exactly what they say about LeBron. Bro. This is what they say about LeBron. Like, okay, is, is Steph Curry better than LeBron? They're two different kind of kinds of players. Exactly. You just answer your own question. Because they're two completely different artists. Drake doesn't have to do what Kendrick does in order but, to impact the game on a grand yeah. scale. That's what I'm trying to say. But check this out. But check this out. When they look at mm-hmm. the look at the list of best bowlers of all time. It's not be there. It's not be in the top Steph ten. Even if some guys will argue on. Or... Steph Curry is Steph Curry is not in that top ten. Guys will argue. The guys who know people. Steph Curry is the best three point shooter ever. And you know it. that, right? Both is the best pop star ever. No, no okay, that's not. Okay, it's okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Steph Curry is the best three point shooter ever. That's gonna still be able to put him in the top ten. You know that, right? Impossible. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because for more I know about people, yeah. and those who know about people can correct me. Larry Bird, Celtic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Magic Johnson, yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, MJ, yeah. That's three. But they were not all as accurate as Steph Curry. Oh, you know what I'm saying? There are, ten, there are ten people that we can name that Curry's not going to be a ball. And I'm only on about three. Oh. What? Okay, like who? I'm on about three. Oh. Allen Iverson, four. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, should I keep going? Okay, so... Bro, and I don't watch people. Okay, so, okay, so, I would so, name guys Shaq. Okay, Curry is not over Shaq. Okay, so so what's your point? That's what I'm trying to understand. My point is that he's he can be the best at three pointers. That's fair. But the original statement I said was, but that's not that's not all he has in his no, itinerary, guy. Break has been made for very long, and it is true. And, and that's impossible. You can't say that. No, because it's impossible. Hanging. Okay, that drill track. The funny, the funny thing is that Drake is not Drake is probably like in my top five artistically, and even as artists, Drake is not in my top five. But I know when someone is being is a slave to their own greatness. I know I see it. He's this guy has given you consistent hits where this guy is being compared to I'm not, MJ Lebu. I'm not denying that, of course, because his numbers are ridiculous. Exactly. Not- so that's when you, that's when you start becoming a slave to your greatness. That exactly is not a point for artistry for us. When I say when we say his numbers have been ridiculous, I say exactly. That doesn't mean anything to me. Because and that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that he's an artistry kind of guy. I'm saying that he's done what he needs to do in order to be to be respected. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I respect Drake. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's that's all I wanted to know. Because I, I feel know. like you saying, I feel like you saying. He's been made for the past five years. It's oh, a bit disrespectful. No, I like Drake. I listen to him. I love his melodies. I like when he raps, raps. But if we're being honest, Drake has, for example, when he did that drill song that came out, you know me, I don't like it. But we're all going to pretend like it's a mad song. Like, <laughs> okay. That's true. Okay, which one is that one? The one with Heading One? Yeah, it's mid. Oh, yeah. It's There's not a mad song. Yep. It's so mid. For sure. Is it, is it the one with the one where he's rapping as a feature or the one that he's on his own? The two one, the one I did on Link Up TV Freestyle. Nah, the, the one that's no, no, the one that is the one that is snowing is that I feel like that one is hard for sure. That's me personally. Is that the Habibi like, one? Generally, it's no, not the not the Habibi one, not the Habibi one. The one yeah. that is actually like snowing and stuff. That one is hard for me. Yeah. And they so, re-uploaded twice on YouTube. But, but the world is going to tell you that it's mad. And I guess not everything... No, yeah, just, but just the funny thing is, the world is actually saying, no, it's not mad more often. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, I, I, that, that, I, I think that's true. Now. Oh, fresh, am I wrong? They're not saying it's not I mad. Feel, I feel like... I feel like guys are waiting to say, no, this track is whack more often than this track is mad. No, in general, people always Because like... if, you, if, you like, if, you, if you go on like academics, like page and stuff, sorry. I feel like every single song, 
on academics like Instagram page where they'd be like, is it fire or is it trash? Everyone always everyone is ready to knock everything that is trash. Everything. Even if it's the best song of life, people are more willing to give negativity than positivity nowadays in the music. That's for me personally. Nowadays. So if a guy that's been giving you certain bangers for the past five years, and I feel like if you actually go through those hits of Drake for the past five years, I feel like it would be unbelievable in terms of guys have been trying to say this guy is not as good as before. He didn't write this. He didn't do this. But why is he still number one? Do you know what I'm trying to say? That question, why is he still number one, should never be put in this in this debate because, like, we've already agreed. We're inside the system. We know how it works. I'm not talking about numbers. Okay, okay. On a, on a number scale, Drake is probably the best, right, numbers-wise. I don't want to have that conversation because it takes away from everything. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, just numbers-wise, he's probably the best. I can't have that. I can't have that discussion because if we're doing numbers wise, well, don't tell me he's a better rapper than Pusha T. No, I'm not talking about rap. I'm talking about putting out a song and doing the best numbers. He's number one. I can't have that discussion because he's just like a pop. He's like a Taylor Swift. He's like once he puts it out, he himself he goes to bed knowing how. For example, DJ Khaled. Yeah, mm-hmm. this guy. I don't believe anybody's listening to Khaled albums. Me personally, I don't believe anybody is listening to Khaled albums. I don't believe people, even if they are, I don't believe they are. So, you feel like, so now you're trying to say his numbers are fabricated. Oh, this, of course. This guy, do, do you know, I'll give you an example. I was watching a documentary one time and they were interviewing Irv Gotti. And Irv Gotti was talking about the time that Jao them were on TV, 2-4. What they did was because they had a lot of street money, they were going to give everybody on the block $20, $10, and tell them to phone MTV or phone the TV stations. I heard and, about that, yeah. And request the jams all day. So now if yeah, you're looking at the time you're home, you're thinking, I keep seeing this Jaro song on TV. What happens? The song gets in your head, and mm-hmm. it helps the song get bigger and bigger and bigger, whatever. Now, mm-hmm. do you think that those games, industry games, stop? Of course not. Oh, it probably hasn't stopped, but there'll still be there'll still be some discrepancies why he's still number one. He still has a larger fan base than everyone else. The perfect example of this, fresh. Remember when Khaled, Mister Positive, yeah. is mad at Tyler because Khaled and Tyler dropped the same week. Yeah. Khaled's budget is probably like fifty million. He signed to but Epic. that should that that should go against your point, though, right? No, no, no. My point. My point is, Epic Rock Nation, we the best. Puts all his money, shoots amazing videos, singles with Justin Bieber, Lil Wayne, blah, blah, blah. And who goes number one? Tyler. Tyler's fans go him number one. So point being is as much because, as they yeah. ma- manually like rig the system. I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it. You know, driving your car, you hear another car playing it. You know, go to the barbershop, you hear them playing it. You know, turn the radio on and you hear them playing it. You know, it's playing everywhere. It's called great music. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit and you never hear it. Okay, so why so why doesn't why doesn't someone else go number one ahead of Drake then? Oh, best believe when they want that to happen, they will make it happen. Drake is the most marked man, they're making money. So as I'm saying, that hasn't happened yet. I'm going back to your point of him being made for the past five years. Guy, no. He's not been made. He's been more than he's been more than made. If you say he's been like on a seventy percent, yes. If you say he's been on a fifty percent, chill. Five years, how? If you go, if you go, to, yeah, fresh. If you go through the songs, sixty-five. Sixty-five, okay, fair enough. I'll get that point. You definitely know, like fifty. Come on. Oh, go to, go to, go yeah, you guys say he has been made for sure now, but let's see, like you can't. Years. He's been sixty-five above mid. Yeah, okay, hey, that's cool. That's cool. I'll take that. You're above mid. For you're sure. You're above mid, but nobody should be out here trying to tell me that Drake's about to release a fire album because of what? So you think it's trash, definitely. I say gas, gas. <laughs> that's something. So it's actually trash, and we all agree it's trash. The Alternative Network.